Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on 14, uh, Monday the 14th of January. So halfway through the month, uh, near enough, and uh, where are we? Well, we put it on a daily bit basis. We put a bearish pivot swing and just need to flick back to the weekly uh, last week where it ended up a little hammer, I guess, so maybe a bit more bullish. Sorry, that's a monthly. Let's have a look at the weekly. I thought that looked a bit squ squidged up there. There we go. Shooting star in the end. Well, hey. um, okay, um, so, but... Uh, but uh, slightly at least a positive candle there of some extent i see uh, some potential upside at the moment purely as we've got the uh, daily pivot sitting above it but in all the in intents and purposes it has changed direction here it's put a lower high confirmed in there this may just be an abc correction and that may be it it'll, cr it'll cross back in there we'll see this morning but uh, just really the daily pivot is not that far ahead now it has diverged across this uh, hourly platform so oh, it's uh, in, a, in a bit of a mixed state at the moment it would be good to see that ticked off um, to the upside um, had a hardish old week the last part of the week it pitched up pretty well right the way through but uh, Thursday Friday uh, weren't good to the uh, euro we saw selling on both days although it consolidated for a long time on the Friday really difficult old day looking for trades um, for now well as I say daily pivot to see how what happens there on the shorter time frames there are moving averages sitting around there which may also provide further resistance so we'll see how it goes I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see another slow old day there's, there's nothing you know, news wise in these markets um, pound well of course I was amazed at how the pound finished up last week there uh, more bullish than some of the others and I'm amazed because of Brexit coming up the vote coming up and you know the deadline to March closing in there and there's all the doom slayers saying that how um, or sayers even uh, saying how we're going to be um, you know the pounds you know you know disastrous and whatever else yeah it still seems to be pushing up now of course we've got the vote coming in what for the vote well we'll talk about that tomorrow um but well i'll talk a little bit about it now I, obviously it's uh, it believed at the moment that, that and it's priced in that uh, the vote will come um out um negative and the, the government will have to go back and think again now on that basis well that's priced in if it was to uh, be accepted well will we see a boost in the pound and it could be uh, one of those really big days. So there is the, the massive potential upside. Downside wise, I think we may see a bit of a kicker to the downside, but significance, well, we'll see. It may, may sell off quite hard, but it is really priced in there. Um, for alley point of view here, let's just have a look. Well, we've got weekly and daily pivots around about the same price, actually, uh, around that four alley pivot. There we go. So that 2803 sort of area. So uh, I, my preference would be to be selling this off towards that area this morning. We'll see how we go once we get post eight o'clock. But uh, it does, well, it's post eight o'clock now. But uh, as, as we proceed a little bit, uh, we'll just watch this carefully. My preference is to the downside. Dolly Yen not really got anything coming out um, there was bank holiday at the moment um, it's uh, sold off a little bit here maybe uh, uh, well, it's, it's so difficult to address anything after last week's movement the previous week with that spike the first week back it just really isn't helped things messed up the, messed up the picture you have to come down the time frames a little bit further to get that out of your chart really uh, where to from here well we saw um, quite a sell-off through the uh, Asian session there. Maybe uh, some good news on the Chinese trade balance coming through 395 versus 345. May have given a, a bit of a knock-on um, a benefit to the dollar yen there. Okay, but uh, no news today, so I'm not expecting too much to happen from that. Um, Aussie dollar. Well, the Aussie dollar um, was doing pretty well last week and outperforming. Uh, many of the other pairs it's uh, rolled over this morning back to the weekly um, data came out I don't think it came out particularly badly um, there's still some uh, I'm not sure what the forecast was in for the inflation gauge but it was uh, it was plenty there was 0.4 inflation so uh, it's running <laughs> I've got inflation um, for alley point of view and the alley point of view may be pointed to uh, continued weakness particularly when you look at it on this alley is to put a lower high confirmed in there maybe it's got more downside to come um, it was riding pretty well up until uh, 
uh, Friday afternoon when it, sell, it took the sell off there. Yes, there was a slight bit of divergence in at the highs, maybe that, but I mean, we saw quite a few other currencies roll at that point, so uh, just seeing the Aussie roll with it. Canadian dollar finally, the Canadian dollar, well, it's come to a bit of an end of play at the moment, it would appear. Um, I was wondering last week, and we could still see it pushing back down towards that daily 200. But uh, at the moment, it's slow and consolidating. It's put a higher low in now, been confirmed higher low, which uh, may suggest that we will see a, a continued a, a bigger correction from here. In the short term, though, there's the daily pivots underneath for those uh, moving averages may provide good support. There's a bit of divergence into these highs now. Um, well, if this strength continues, I think we could see... Uh, I mean, we're seeing the pound push back up at the moment. I'm just looking through these markets as I'm talking here. I'm showing you the one chart, but looking at some others. And the put pounds pushing up at the moment. Maybe the Canadian dollar will sell off back towards that pivot, maybe more. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it for me. It's uh, going to be a tough, uh, say, tough week, an interesting week. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, have a great one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.